Hello, my friends, and thank you so much for being here. We have some lip things to talk about. I had just sort of this, frankly, well-organized area of some PR stuff that I hadn't gotten to yet. It was organized into lip products, and there were just some things that I hadn't used. And sometimes when I get sent certain lip things in PR, they send an entire line of things. It's a little overwhelming. Maybe I will pick out one to try, and I'll be like, I'll, I'll get to the rest at another time. And then things happen, other videos take priority, and that stuff just kind of is there. And over the weekend, I went through all of that and I tried on a ton of lip products until my lips truly felt raw. And I realized that there were some absolute gems just sitting here in my room for a long time that I hadn't really successfully dug into. And somebody's out there probably saying, well, and that sounds like a great problem to have, you know, like too much makeup, good makeup you just hadn't really discovered yet. And I know it's crazy. I'm very grateful to receive the PR stuff that I get. But that being said, I think I do prioritize my own interests in makeup over the things I might just automatically be receiving from different brands, you know what I mean? Like if there's something out there where I'm like, oh my gosh, that really seems compelling. I think I wanna make a video out of that, you know, like I will get it myself. So my primary interest level are like the products that personally excite me and the things that I wanna maybe go out and grab, things that I wanna rediscover in my collection because they're of personal interest to me. And then the stuff that comes in PR, sometimes like things will take me by surprise and be like, wow, you know, like the, the persona brushes and stuff like like that will swoop in. But it would be my hope that most creators don't just like let the PR products that they receive dictate the entire content of their channel, you know, because then that's not very interesting. So I'm not really mad at myself over this, but I'm a little bit kicking myself that I didn't dive into some of this stuff sooner. So I have no lip product on currently, and I think I'm just gonna chat about some of these different amazing formulas I've uncovered and try a few on from each as we go. But as far as what's on my skin today, my base product, I use my Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin I wear the shade 3. It's the one in the compact. I also have the liquid foundation, which I really like, but I use this kind of balm, and I feel like that tends to wear really well on me. I've got my makeup by Mario palette on the eyes and a little bit of a half lash happening here. And for my contour and blush, I use the Dibs stick, the one with the ice chai bronzer and the not so basic like peachy coral blush. So let's get started. Um, I want to first talk about these Essence Extreme Shine Volume Lip Glosses. What these feel a lot like is sort of a cheaper drugstore alternative to the Maybelline Lifter glosses. And I remember as soon as I got these, I did try some on. I think I might have done it on Instagram. And then I kind of like set them aside. I pulled one out, the one called Milky Way, because it reminds me of my Maybelline Lifter gloss in Pearl right? Yeah. Um, it's kind of like an even cheaper alternative to that. We know how high the drugstore prices are getting, and if you can get these for just, you know, a few bucks, you feel like you're really getting a deal. But these do have, like, a little bit of a cooling sensation, and some of these shades are downright gorgeous. I'm going to put on a few. The texture, the thickness, the look, like the vibe of the glosses is not necessarily meant to be your most opaque thing ever, but they remind me of some of my lifter glosses, which I love pairing with deeper lip colors, lipsticks, lip liners, whatever. Um, this shade called Purple Rain, very unique looking kind of dusty mauve thing. Look how pretty this is on the lips. Think about how this would look paired with, you know, any color of lip liner. And the lips honestly look completely filled in. You know what I mean? Like the texture of them. This feels... Mm, almost exactly like a Maybelline Lifter Gloss. And the reason why people like those, they're smooth, they're nourishing, they make the lips look fuller. And as I have this on, I'm maybe getting the teeniest bit of a tingle, like some of the most subtle tingle you're gonna have. They do say these are volume, extreme shine volume lip glosses. But that color called Purple Rain there, I love that. The shade I've been loving is called Milky Way. And again, picture this just pairing up. I'm just throwing it there on the bottom lip, but any kind of lipstick or lip liner, it has that glossiness, but that reflectivity due to the micro fine sparkle. Okay, it, it's super pretty. Here's a really creamy looking one called Pink Panther. Let's throw that on. Seeing a little more opaque color here, but still it's not like a lip lacquer. It's not like super bold. That could definitely hold its own on its own, on your lips. Beautiful texture. These are a really lovely feeling, comfortable gloss. I've got to like throw on that Maybelline Lifter Gloss just to do a quick comparison, because I feel like they're identical. So similar. 
the Maybelline might feel like it's got a hint more thickness. What they're doing with some of these shades that have that little micro fine sparkle infused in them, it's such a similar thing to what Maybelline's doing. Let's try on this Flower Blossom one. It looks super milky and maybe not quite as much shimmer. But look at this. It's like got just the littlest bit of luminosity. And what is that shade doing? It's like it kind of evened out the color of my lips. Gave it this sort of milky shine. I mean, it really does look like something's going on there. Just picture these being part of like a new favorite lip combo, layering them up on top of any of the Revlon Color Stay lip liners or any of the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink crayons. Yes, there's one more shade I wanna show you. And they do have a totally clear one and they've got this one that looks like clear but tinted pink and this one is called Summer Punch. It's gonna give you a little added something to your natural lip color. I actually enjoy that lip color, and I don't always just love the natural color of my lips, but bumped up slightly and given an amazing shine, I could get into that, actually. I just dipped my toe into this line. I picked out that one shade that I was really into called Milky Way, but really all these shades are so much fun. And moral of the story, you know, I think great layering options and use them in the way you would use your Maybelline lifter glosses. Second item on the agenda, these lipsticks from Too Faced called Heartcore. I would say they're somewhere between like a tinted balm and a lipstick. They have kind of a lighter feel, but you know, there's a lot of moisturization happening and just maybe not quite quite as intimidating of a coverage level on the lips as some lipsticks might have. But the story with these was I had sweet tea. I had purchased this one myself. I kind of knew what it was about. And so like I didn't really prioritize looking into the rest of the shades, but some of these are so pretty. So let's start you out with sweet tea. They are absolutely adorable packaging, fully heart shaped top to bottom. And then you're gonna have that little heart on the inside there. I know e.l.f. did something like these that were even more like tinted balmy and a little less lipsticky. Look at this shade. And the smell, they all smell like an old school strawberry lip smacker. I feel so confident in the way I've got these pegged. Mm, just close your eyes, get one, go to a store and smell one. It's 100% a strawberry lip smacker from Bonnie Bell. But there's that sweet tea color and it's a very your lips but better shade, you know? See how dark the lipstick looks, but you're not getting 100% fullness of color on your lips. It's just a little bit lighter. I like that. And they feel really good. Like how did I let that get past me? How rich these do feel. There's a richness and a moisturizing quality that definitely goes beyond your standard cream lipstick that you're gonna put on, okay? So there's that. And then some of these other colors, I'm like, wait, what? This reddish one, this reddish balm called Nothing Compares to You? Nothing compares. Look at this going on. Mm. This like watermelon kind of shade and it's comfy. And you recall my description saying this is like kind of a leveled up lipstick lip balm hybrid product and I was able to apply it basically one swipe through with no streakiness. That's so, that's so pretty. I love it. Something about the texture sensation on the lips, the balmy quality to the stick. You can just see it's like less like a serious lipstick and more like a lip balm stick. It's like less intimidating somehow, even with the brighter shades. Let's try the one called Heart Core. This one looking like red and it's got a little hot pink heart in the middle. Like, oh my gosh, for Valentine's Day coming up, you guys. The ultimate little gift to yourself or to someone you love. How much fun is this shade? Like, I love it with this entire look that I've got going on here. This brown zebra sweater, the barely there eye, and that pop on the lips. Absolutely, that's fun. Where have these been and why are people not like raving on this stuff? Uh, crazy for you. How is this one different from the last one I tried on? Oh, this is more of a pink. The one I just put on has the red happening. This one's more of a pink on the stick and then it still has that pink heart in the middle. Let's see. Yeah, we can tell this is more pinky. Crazy for you. What's not to like? Mm. And the feel. 
luxurious thickness, luxurious, feels expensive. And you know, it's not the cheapest stuff, but a little treat yourself Valentine's gift, that's what that's telling me. At this point, we're just trying on all the ones I have. There's only two left here, two femme. Okay, this one looking kind of like purpley. Um, how did that compare to sweet tea? Ah, uh, yes, sweet tea was darker and more plummy. This is giving off like kind of a, like a super cool pink vibe. Cool pink mixed with mauve. That's fun. And I mean, you're seeing how these look with a sort of a muted eye, right? Anything goes. Everything's so nude on the face right now. Like, let the lip color take the spotlight. I could totally see myself in that. And then this last shade I have is called Never Grow Up. I am using a wet wipe here to get everything off the lips. Never Grow Up, kind of a caramely looking shade with a light heart in the middle. Let's see. A little more lightness in the pink here compared to Sweet Tea. Sweet Tea is maybe more of the classic Dusty Rose and this is just like a kind of a soft pink rose. Mm. But the feeling is extraordinary and the packaging is super cute and I just don't know how these kind of got lost. I think these got lost on people, myself included. Like I said, I had the one and then I just went on living my life and didn't really address the rest. Here's a cool formula if you enjoy the like stick style lip colors, if you're a big fan of the Maybelline Superstay Matting crayons and you want to kind of go beyond that a little bit, Laura Mercier has these Velour Extreme Matte lipsticks and I don't know I don't have a ton of these but I feel like maybe I could do some dupe digging and tell you like if there are dupes for these in my collection but I just realized I have some of these and they're so pretty and I even have one called Jolie here and it's got a little bit of a shimmer happening and I was playing with these and I thought let's put that like kind of soft pink shimmer I, I love that format just that little rounded off top put that on I also had the shade called Fresh. Again, it's called Velour Extreme Matte. I definitely don't have a shade that's exactly like this. This is a little deeper than that first shade of matte ink crayon I ever had, Lead the Way. It's a little darker than Lead the Way. Look how those layer up. And they do last really well. But look how that feels like there's almost a spotlighting gloss there, but there's not. It's all long wear lipstick. So I thought, well, that's kind of fun. And then I have a couple of other colors here that I really, really like. I've got one called Click, like the cool click at school, not like click it up. Uh, look at this color. That's what I'm talking about. They glide on. It's so satisfying, this glide. Yes, please. I love that color. That That is a fun color. That's a color we're just not seeing enough of out in the world, you know? Okay, and this other one that I have is called Femme. I do feel like this is very similar to Live on the Edge, one of my all-time faves, but let's just look at it. It's that brick color. It has maybe a little more purple in it than Live on the Edge. Live on the Edge has more brown, but for the burgundy lovers, let me put it on. That glide on the lips is just, oh, Phenomenal. Any time of year, gang, like any of this stuff works anytime. If you like the color, wear it whenever. If this seems like fall and winter, you know, that's fine, but you could wear this in the summer. I always say a lip of this color intensity with bronzed up skin and a bronzy eye, how pretty is that? Just work on that vision in your head for a second. They're waking up early again. Okay, so we talked about the essence, we talked about the Too Faced, the Laura Mercier sticks here. Hello! Are you howling at the moon? How? How does it feel to be six? Good. We flag in the whole wide world. Kitten, got kittens coming in. Then from Hourglass, yes, Hourglass, um, we know everyone's loving these products from Tarte where you click them up, these little click style products. The stick comes up, it almost fully transfers onto the lips, looking as though you've applied maybe not only a lipstick, but definitely a lip gloss, leaving a lot of moisture and a lot of glossy shine. Well, Hourglass made some of these too, and they're probably more expensive, and I need to look up the specific name of what these even are, but the color colors of these are really pretty, certain ones especially. And also, I feel like they look even glossier somehow on the lips, like even more shiny. So I've got one here, this shade is called Thrill, and you're gonna click it, you feel little clicks, and you get that product coming up just a little bit, and then you plan for that product. Whatever you click up, it ain't going back down, okay? It's all gonna transfer onto the lips. Look at this shade. 
I just feel like there might be a little more color intensity pigmentation wise in these and a little more shine. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Did she just put on red lip gloss? Like that shade is so pretty. Why did I not get into these more? Why did I not do that? Sometimes it's really just how things come out. If there's a lot of other stuff on my to-do list at the time, it's easy for me to just kind of push back on something that I maybe wasn't, didn't really think I was that interested in to begin with. Let's see, here's another color called Haze, clicking it up slightly. A little more earthy here. Earthy, kind of rosy red. I mean, the level of shine. I swear there's just a little more shine happening than with the Tarte. And I've picked some of these shades that I think have a lot of color intensity that I really like. And M Cosmetics makes these too with their lip cushions. Same kind of idea. A lot of color transferring down. And they've got some fairly intense ones. Um, let's put on this one called Entice. So this one is going to have a little bit more of a berry feel. I, I just love the color intensity here. Now, would I be scared to wear a shade this vibrant in that glossy of a take? You know, I, I might be a little bit. Honestly, I might layer maybe a lip liner or a long wearing lip color underneath a couple of these um, if I were in a situation where I didn't think touch ups were gonna be possible all that much. Or I might try to go for a little lighter application of this so it didn't feel quite so thick and just like goop on the lips. Truly, it seems like it's somewhat adhering. It's not like free flowing goop going everywhere, but there's definitely a level of thickness on my lips right now. And at this time of the year, in the middle of winter, that thickness and that moisturization does feel nice. Just waiting for the drugstore to turn out that format of a product. And then finally, my friends, I had a lot of these NYX Lingerie XXLs, like many more than what I'm even holding here. I had previously in my collection some more like, I don't know, nude kind of colors and I've used them and I've enjoyed them. So we're talking like long wearing matte liquid lipstick here. But in playing with these new colors, I've discovered like some really, really beautiful shades. I'm gonna pick some faves here just to try on. This one even called Peach Flirt here, okay? This was a little unexpected. This toasty color. Look at this. I mean, this is very everyday wearable. Look at that shade. You know, that's not like too peachy for me. You know, it's given a little bit of a pumpkin vibe, but I, I like that. I actually really like the color. And then I came into a hot pink that I thought looked gorgeous. Stayin' Juicy is what it's called. It's like a berry pink. I want to be in this shade a lot. How great does that look with the barely there face? So stunning. And again, these are things that are gonna sit on there and they're going to adhere. They're going to be like a long wear matte liquid lipstick. And I can say this about most every matte liquid lipstick, but if you pick shades that are a little bit more mid-tone and a little bit closer to your natural lip color, as they fade, there's less of an obvious thing happening. So I would have to watch maybe some of these deeper shades a little bit more to make sure they weren't looking like worn in the center, not worn everywhere else. It's the mid-tones that seem to look the best the longest throughout the duration of the day. But some of these colors are just so undeniably pretty. This is called Extended, starting with the letter X. Look at this berry. I mean, this just screams wintertime berry. I think this is the shade I'm leaving on today. Question is, is there a plumping happening with these? Because they say NYX Lingerie XXL. Like, I don't know. The brown, chunky sweater, the light eye, that lip. Absolutely. I'm all about that. One thing this experience is inspiring me to do is have a little more fun with the lip colors I'm putting on because I can get in a phase of just reaching for all things dusty. <laughs> And, you know, the Dusty Rose fam, you know who you are, but this is fun and why not go for it? Oh, dang, I'm gonna have to take this off. There was one more I wanted to put on. The one called Stamina, yeah. Now this has had a little chance to set and look. She's like, I'm resisting. Kittens are just in mega playful mode because the girls got up and now they want into their room. Okay, I think I'm gonna stay in this one all day. And so I'm gonna kind of clean up my actual lips. So I'm gonna take a little bit, I'm wearing this Too Faced um, Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer. I'm just gonna give myself, if you're ever wondering, if you're trying on lip colors like a maniac and then you wanna neaten up your lip line, like give yourself just a little concealer around the outside of your lips. Then use a little brush to just blend in and it's okay if you get on your lips a little bit here. 
or just kind of trying to make sure the outside is neat again. So you can get a really neat edge for the, your last color that you're going to end up wearing. File this away under how to try on lip colors like a maniac. Stamina. This shade. Oh, this red. Come on. And this applicator is helping me get a pretty clean line. Blot to the top. You don't need to get a ton of product on. Whenever you're doing matte liquid lipstick, try to get on the bare minimum. It'll be more comfortable that way. So you get the bare minimum by getting some on one lip, blot to the other lip, and then just clean up the lip. Deep wearable red. I love it. I love it. So these are the products that have been hiding from me <laughs> that I've been maybe not giving enough attention to, and now, you know, they're coming back. I mean, these, so good. Those Essence lip glosses, come on. Thank you all so, so much for your time today. I hope this was somewhat enjoyable. I just had to share, you know, these things that have been lurking, basically, in my collection that really need a shout out. I want to know if you were already keyed into these formulas. Did you already know how great these were? Tell me in the comments section, and I will see you guys again very soon. I love you. Bye.